Welcome to iForbes Sports. Ako si Sofia, ang inyong iForbes reporter for today's para ibigay ang latest updates sa PBA as of today, December 29, 2023. Tara, alamin natin ang itsura ng playoff bracket ng PBA sa ngayon, next game schedule and team standings as of today. Pero bago ang PBA updates, may imamari test muna ko sa inyong mga beshi. Kung nagtataka kayo kung nasaan ako, nasa Boracay po ako ngayon. At huwag kayo mga tropa, na shock ako kagabi. May nakita ko PBA player dito kagabi. Aba, akala ko injured. Pero good thing he's well and fine naman pala. Kaya tutok ka lang sa video na to, at ay reveal ko ang injured player na ito na nagbabakasyon naman ngayon dito sa Boracay. Panay nga ang titig sakin. Di ko pansin, sabihin ko sa inyo mamaya kung bakit. Now, let's take a closer look at the playoff picture as of today, December 29, 2023. Please take note that these brackets may still change as there are still around two to three games left to be played by each team in the elimination. If the elimination phase ends now, this will be the look of the playoff picture for the PBA Commissioner's Cup. Securing the twice-to-beat advantage by finishing on the top two spots are the Magnolia Chicken Templados Hotshots, who is currently the overall top seed, and the Phoenix Fuel Masters at the second spot, securing a twice-to-beat advantage as well. Relegated to a harder route for the best of three quarterfinals are the third and fourth seeds, which belongs to the Moralco Bolts, who is currently at number three, and the San Miguel Beermen, who is at number four spot. Now, Let's meet our top four seeds opponents and who meets who and see the complete playoff picture as of today. Magnolia will enjoy a twice to beat advantage against the number eight seed Rain or Shine Elasto Painters. The second seeded Team Phoenix Fuel Masters will likewise enjoy a twice to beat advantage against the Talk and Tex Tropang Giga. The third-seeded Moralco Bolts will be in a good best of three series against the Northport Batang Pier to determine who will advance to the semifinals. The fourth-seeded San Miguel Beermen will have a sister team rivalry for a great best of three quarterfinal series as well against the Barangahina Brajing Kings. The semifinal series will be a best of five affair, while the finals will be a classic best of seven showdown. That's our playoff picture at the moment. But these positions may still change depending on the results of the last few games of the eliminations, which will resume on January 5, 2024. Oh, excited ka na ba malaman kung sino ang injured player na nandito sa Boracay ngayon? At kung bakit di ko siya type? Sabihin ko na after ko ibigay ang updated PBA standings para mas makita nyo mas malinaw na positions ng mga teams as of today. Here's the updated PBA standings as of today. The battle for the last place is heating up as the tanking teams Converge Fiber and Blackwater Bossings are jogging for the exciting race for the last place position, with both already thinking of the next season, looking for an investment player. Tenth spot are the Terra Firma Jeep with a record of two wins and seven losses. Ninth place is N Lex Road Warriors with three wins and six losses. Eighth place is Rain or Shine Elasto Painters improved their chances of making into the quarterfinals with four wins and five losses. At seventh place is Talk and Textro Pengiga with four wins, five losses. Sliding to sixth spot is Northport Batang Pier with five wins and four losses. Fifth place, Barangay He Neberjing Kings with six wins and three losses with a huge Christmas game win over TNT with Scotty Thompson booming triples late in the fourth. Fourth place, San Miguel Beerman with six wins and three losses. The Miracle Bolts is at third place with six wins and two losses. The Phoenix Fuel Masters remains at number two with seven wins and just two defeats. And finally, the Magnolia keeps a hold of the top spot this conference with nine wins and just a single loss. Oh, alam ko kung bakit andito ka pa din. Nakikimarites ka din talaga. Aminin mo na. Ito picture namin ng injured player. Oh. Let's all be happy na. 
Okay si Ronde Hollis Jefferson after a serious neck injury. Nice to see him dito ngayon sa Boracay. It means goods na injury niya. Too bad, out of the conference na siya. Pero bakit hindi ko siya type? Sabihin ko after ko ibigay ang next PBA schedules. Tutok ka lang, tropa. Isagad mo na pagmamari test mo. Talent yan? The PBA will resume its games on January 5, 2024, Friday, as the Blackwater Bossing in Northport Batain Pier battle it out for the first game of the PBA in 2024. Now, here is a fact for you. Northport will win this game, no doubt against the tanking Blackwater. With the bossing tied with Converge at the bottom, they needed to lose to solidify their last play spot. Oops. Sorry, that's my personal opinion. Tip off is at 4 p.m. On the second game, the rain or shine Elasto Painters will be gunning for their fourth straight win as they go up against the depleted talk and text Tropang Giga at 8 a.m. On January 6, Saturday, the PBA will be on the road in Alowo City, where the first and third seed, Magnolia, Chicken, Templados, Hot Shots, and the Morocco Bolts battle it out to further solidify their spots. On the last playoff, tip-off will be at 6 p.m. A win by the Hot Shots will officially make them the top overall seed for this conference, while Morocco still has a chance to make it to the top two with a win. And on Sunday, January 7, the PBA will be at the Araneta Coliseum as the San Miguel Beerman battles the forever bottom dweller and top prospect gift giver Terra Firma Jeep. I guess we all know who will win on this one. A very easy win for the San Miguel Beer on this one. Tip off will be at three on the main game. The Barangay Hinebra Gin Kings and the Northport Batang Pier will try to improve their current positions as they play on a crucial game tip-off at 6.15 p.m. Former Hinebra player and current top leading local scorer this conference, Arvin Tolentino will have something to prove on this game playing against his old team. Northport is clearly an underdog on this one as the Gin Kings is starting to get in form for the playoff push. That's it for today. Tune in again tomorrow for another PBA updates. May NBA updates din ako daily. Panoorin nyo naman mga tropa. Oh, kaya nga pala, hindi ko type si Ronday kasi nakita ko yung kamay niya. Grabe ang laki-laki. Sabi nila, pag malaki daw ang kamay, ay, hay nako, duko keri, pang Pinoy lang ako. Sayo lang ako, be, kaya subscribe ka na sa channel ko. Baka naman di ka pa din mag-subscribe. May updates ka na. Meron ka pang marites. Madamot ka na niyan talaga, hay nako. Salamat ulit sa pagsagad mga tropa. Let's play balls. Peace out.